Okay, YouTubers, all on 227 back. I'm going to try to finish up the Super Nintendo collection in this last video. Try to make it a three parter. Just getting get it started. <clears throat> First one I got is football games. It's not as good as Madden. Um, I popped it in a couple nights ago. Really didn't get the feel for it again. Troy Aikman football. It was a dollar. I couldn't pass it up for a dollar. Another one that had the same feel. Another football game. Uh, you know, another, another small price that I couldn't pass it up. Emma Smith football. Neither one of these are as good as Madden. Just stick with Madden. Classic came with my Super Nintendo. This is the uh, the exact same cartridge I've had all these years. Um, in great shape. Super Mario World. Um, I started playing this one again. I have reached the Forest of Illusion, which we all know is a pain in the butt. Uh, that make, means I'm about halfway through it, almost to the fourth, to the, almost to the fifth fifth boss. Another RPG, I didn't play this a lot, my brother did, but it's good to have. It's one of those hard to get titles, uh, from what I remember. It's Tecmo Secret of the Stars. It's got a guy's name on the back of it. What was up with people writing their names on cartridges? I mean, I know your buddies would try to steal them, but I'm pretty sure with certain games, um, you shouldn't have no problem finding them. Don't know much about it. <clears throat> Now this is a fighter that I really love, uh, side scroller fighting game. I really love was Batman Returns. I don't know what it is about this game. Uh, it could be the fact that I work at a comic book shop for four years. Uh, could be that I was a big gamer, Batman fan. But I love this game. It's a Konami game, makers of Castlevania. Maybe that's why it's so good. I don't know what it is, but Batman Returns, awesome game. Uh, most people can tell what this is from the back of it. Killer Instinct, not as good as Mortal Kombat in my eyes, but good nonetheless. I enjoyed it in the arcade. Now this game was cool because it's um, it's a gambling game, which you don't think much of with gambling games, but this one had a little story to it and a little side stuff you could do. Vegas Stakes, I enjoy this game. Um, I like you know Texas Hold'em poker and stuff, which you know is not on here. Uh, and playing the poker game, the poker stuff can be tedious in this game. But I like the story how you have uh, side things happen to you, you take risks. I enjoy it. Now, here's another classic that you gotta have with some different graphics for the Super Nintendo Star Fox. Uh, this Star Fox is in really good shape, a little scratched up on the, uh, on the label, but no pieces missing. Uh, a little dirty in the back sticker residue. Star Fox is great. It's it's one of those games when I played them I thought man this isn't going to be too tough. It ends up being um, a pretty good challenge. Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. I am a huge Star Wars fan so this was a no-brainer for me to pick up. I enjoy almost everything Star Wars. Let's not talk about episode one. But other than that I love Star Wars. Oh, this game is missing a big chunk of the label, which really sucks. It's a Capcom game. Final Fight 3. I love Final Fight 3 because it's got Guy in it. Guy is my favorite Final Fight character. Um, I remember him being in the arcade of regular Final Fight, so I picked Final Fight up for Super Nintendo, and he wasn't in there. Disappointment. Uh, but Final Fight 3, I love it because it's got Guy in it. Here's a hard one to find. It's got some white out in it. And... Uh, Looks like somebody's name in the back and crayon really faint. Marvel Super Heroes and War of the Gems. This game is pretty tough. Uh, I missed a lot of the older Marvel games, superhero games, very tough. That's a really hard one to find, made by Capcom. Next game. An uh, arcade classic, looking in great condition, by the way. Space Invaders. Who doesn't like them? Some Space Invaders, some old school arcade classic. Here's an RPG game that a lot of people have probably played, really didn't think much of it. It was a, a, a mediocre title, blah, 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 blah. I really enjoyed this game. And it has a, a line in it that I always remember is, ah, only if we had some mint. Lagoon. This is the second copy of Lagoon I owned. The first copy I played, we played so much that the uh, the battery died in it and it would not hold saves. Uh, got rid of that one for this one. 
uh, I had to have it. Another role-playing game that a lot of people think is eh. It's not in the best condition. Uh, the label's starting to peel on the sides. Uh, it's got a sticker residue on the front. But this is Wonder from Wise 3. Uh, East, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's a really good game. I like it. Uh, real catchy music. Uh, if you want a game that's got real catchy music, uh, the town music's real catchy. The first level music is real catchy, and the final level is really, really catchy. Um, they these games uh, span off to an anime, uh, which I've only found the first book of. I like to find the rest of it, but it's called uh, Ease. Um, so if, if you know where I can find the rest of that anime series, uh, let me know, because I really enjoyed it. This is the second Super Nintendo game we ever owned after Mario World, and it's Pilot Wings. I like Pilot Wings. It, it's, it's a, it was a fresh take. Uh, hang gliding, uh, landing plane, uh, par, parachute. Yeah, par, parachute. Um, and a rocket. Um, scoring points, trying to get your license test, and then every four missions, you got eight missions, and then uh, after the fourth and the la and the eighth, you went into a fighting mission. You were training the whole time to go into a day and a night operation in a helicopter. Blew my mind. I was like, whoa, what was going on here? These boards aren't like the other ones. Pick it up. A fun game with, I believe, a hundred levels. Zombies ate my neighbors. This game took me forever to land a copy of. Uh, I read about it a lot in Nintendo Power. I could never find it when I was younger. As I got older, I kept looking for it, kept looking for it. Came across it. Fantastic game. Pick it up. Um, I'm a Star Trek fan, so I picked this up. It's by Interplay. It's Star Trek Starfleet Academy Starship Bridge Simulator. Eh. Was not impressed. Really let me down. Really let me down. But as a Star Trek fan, I'll, I'll keep it forever. Another Capcom game. Final Fight 1. Probably the best gameplay out of all of them. But like I said, I was disappointed when the arcade version didn't come over with Guy. Also disappointed that it didn't come with the same... It was missing a level out of the arcade. But nonetheless, a great game. Here's a game I never had when I was a kid. Uh, I picked it up a few years back. Donkey Kong Country. That's a good game. A good side-scrolling platformer. Not as good as Mario. But it's Donkey Kong, so it's awesome. Another copy of Star Fox with stickers on it. Not in as good shape as the other one. Oh, probably one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, and the the cartridge is in bad condition. It's uh, Draken. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I could be wrong. Don't waste your money. Uh, I paid a dollar for it. I feel like I may have wasted my dollar. Now a better Star Trek game, and I have this for the Genesis, and I made a comment about this on Super Nintendo, Star Trek Next Generation. Well, I really like this game, Star Trek fan, I think it's awesome. Here's a uh, side scroll shooter that I actually really liked. Uh, it's Blazon. Uh, an Atlas title, which is really good, because Atlas titles are hard to find, especially nowadays with uh, all the current generation of PlayStation 2. Um, there's an Atlas title for PSP, Crimson Gem Saga, that no store within... Uh, 50 miles of me has. Um, but Blade's almost kind of cool. I mean, Atlas title was even better. Last two games are games that everybody should have played, especially RPG fans. I'll start with this one from Squaresoft. Uh, great condition. Final Fantasy 2. Um, and the other one I have, Squaresoft, Final Fantasy 3. You know, 4 and 6, respectively. Um, in Japan. Final Fantasy 3. Good story. Great characters. I uh, love the Esper system. Um, I liked how Yamaru and Gogo were optional characters you could go find. I loved how the story ended if you didn't wait for Shadow on the floating continent. Um, I also like the fact that in the world of Ruin, um, Celis, well, Celis Sabin, Maybe lock, I think it is, or the other ones you have to have. Maybe not lock. But you can beat the the end game with only three three guys uh, that you're required to have. 
Final Fantasy 2, the better of the two. I'm going to try to wrap this up quick because I'm, I'm going to go over my 10 minute mark. Awesome characters. Cecil and Kane, awesome. Palamon Porum, awesome. Um, great story. Love the side quests. I love side quests. Love uh, Bahamut, very tough. Uh, Golbets, very great story. Uh, it's one I'll give a good review on. There's my collection. We made it in three parts. We ran a little over on this one, but a little short on the other. Thanks for checking it out. Keep gaming. Uh, keep watching my videos. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Check out everybody else. Have a good day, guys.